hello everyone hello everyone welcome to the lecture and in this lecture i am going to show you how to add the ftd images the firepower images to the uh, evng right um, in this in this uh, um, training basically we have used the 6.x as well as the 7. Dot version of the ftd inside eve so i will um, show you the method of uh, how to add uh, one of the uh, versions and uh, the other version I will provide you the download link so that you can go and follow the same steps to add both the versions inside Eve. Uh, basically we have done the VPN section with the 7.0 uh, version and all other lectures are done on the 6.x version. So uh, without taking much time let's get started. I have my EVNG running inside my VMware workstation but uh, make sure that uh, the lab um, which uh, Biswajiri is going to be uh, demonstrating he is basically performing all this on the E which is deployed on the VMware hypervisor because the uh, the FTD images are uh, resource um, intensive and they take a lot of uh, time to boot uh, the FMC basically took us um, and on an average around two to two and a half hours to basically initialize so make sure you have that resources on your end to do this lab or else you can just um, uh, go through the course and understand the concepts if you don't have that much of resource available at your end uh, now getting back to the uh, steps of on how to adding this so first of all you should have the evng already added installed in your um, uh, vmware workstation or um, uh, inside the hypervisor or even if you have virtual box you can add it there i have added the videos of installing the eve inside virtual box as well as on the vmware workstation now let's go on and um, uh, access the uh, evng gui so my evng is running on 192.168.1.199 and um, i have the default username which is admin and the password eve i have not changed that now i'll just delete this node from here now if you right click and uh, click on the node here and scroll down to Cisco Firepower, you will not see um, the uh, I mean Firepower added. Now, in order to add the Firepower, first thing is you need the images, and second thing is you need the WinSCP uh, client, which I have uh, already installed. You can go to um, Google and type WinSCP. Um, I mean uh, WinSCP download, and this is a free tool. Um, so you can use FileZilla as well for this, but I like WinSCP. You can use this as well if you want, or Win FileZilla if you already have that. So you can download it for free from WinSCP website. Okay, and just click on download for the Windows. Okay, and after installing that, you just um, open WinSCP and connect basically to this IP. So you can say new session, uh, my new site. Uh, keep this as SCP host name is 192.168.1.199 which is the IP of the uh, EVNG username should be root and eve so you have to basically log in as a root to access the file system of the EVNG and once you are here you have to go to the root and then go to OPT and then unit lab add ons and chemo okay once again you have to be in the root okay root directory go to opt folder then next is unit lab then add-ons then chemo so this is the uh, uh, chemo folder where you have to actually copy paste all the files right now if i go to my um, chemo image uh, directory and check for the cisco ftd uh, should start with firepower so i have firepower 6.0 um, sorry 6.x 6.3 this is okay i can go and um, copy paste this in the directory i just have to uh, select these two and drag and drop now you can um, use uh, this as well as i will uh, share you the links for this uh, to download basically this is on lab hub so this is a free website uh, which is uh, i mean uh, hosting all the uh, uh, what do you say chemo images there so i'll i'll go and share this link with you go to unit lab chemo and then go to the cisco uh, firepower should be there somewhere uh, so if you go in the alphabetical order 
you should see the Cisco somewhere. Yeah, Cisco Firepower 7 and 6. So uh, if you want 7, you can go here. If you want 6, um, you can go in the 6 directory, right? Cisco, where is that? Firepower. Yeah, Firepower 6. So you can download it from here. So for example, I have the 6.3. Uh, um, you can download 7 as well as from this one. So I will share this link with you. You can download both. So make sure you download the ftd and the uh, fmc of the same versions okay so let's go and now what you need to do is for example drag and drop it here make sure the naming starts with the firepower and the version 6 and then ftd like this now if you <coughs> don't see the firepower 7 here for example if i right click on the node and i scroll down and i don't see firepower 7 here right so what you need to do is just add the firepower 7 image drag and drop it here just rename the name to firepower 6 as in you can see here firepower 6 inside you can keep the virtual dot image of the firepower 7 that you downloaded make sure that uh, and then you can rename this to ftd 7.0 or fmc 7.0 uh, if in case you don't see the firepower 7 maybe you are running the old evng so you could face an issue like what I am um, facing right now, but that works fine if you do this trick that you just name the folder uh, of the firewall as Firepower 6, even though it is, it is 7 and then say FMC 7.0, likewise FTD 7.0, Firepower 6, FTD 7.0 and inside you put the new images that you download from here, say 7.0 like this, right? So you can do that. Uh, once the images are copied inside the mm, folder okay what you need to do is you need to co uh, copy the fix permission command of evng you can go here and copy this whole command okay um, i'll paste it um, i mean i'll share this in the articles uh, section uh, as well as uh, we will uh, provide you uh, the downloading resources as well so you can go here now inside the uh the cli and say uh, login with root and eve and then you can edit and paste it like this and wait for this download to be uh, upload to be completed right okay now the images are basically uh, copied inside you need to make sure this there is only one folder it should not be like folder inside folder and the file the file should be named like this virtual.qcow so you can see both the folders are copied here next what we, what we need to do is enter on this command once and i mean for uh, what i like to do is twice to be on the safer side okay so once and then go twice okay done once this is done now you can go inside the evng topology refresh this and right click hit on nodes and you should see the firepower here and then you can see the ftd as well as the fmc so you can go here now make sure this is very pro processor intensive intensive as i said and you will have to um, increase this so i'm just giving four um, 8 gb of ram and four cpus but uh, it will take a lot of time to um, basically um, initialize right we had eight cpus i think four cpus and 16 gb and took uh, two and a half hours so just to show you i'm just um, adding the uh, uh, i think i added the ftd if you can yeah i added the fmc so let's go and add the ftd so right click node firepower six inside that you have to add the ftd and say save and so you can do that and um, then you can connect it to um, the the management of the firepower to the cloud like that and drag and drop and save it right and then uh, i would suggest before starting a new um, node just wipe it first uh, okay and that way you might not face some um, booting issues if you have done the steps properly then this should not sh uh, be a problem for you so i'm just uh, double clicking on this so that we have the console open so you can see uh, this is the firepower here and this is going to be the now you can rename this obviously because you don't know which one is what right so you can just edit uh, for example stop the instance edit and uh, 
uh, rename this to FTD FMC sorry and uh, this is basically the FMC and this is the FTD so now in order for these images to boot and initialize it will take a long time around two to two and a half hours maybe more than that because we are only using the 8 GB RAM here depending on the resources that you have right so yeah that is all and uh, you would see the initialization and the IP configurations uh, how to access the GUI in the next lectures so hopefully um, uh, you are able to understand how the process of adding these key movements are basically this is very simple and um, I mean it's um, uh, it's likewise for other chemo images as well but just you need to make sure you have the right naming convention on the uh, folders as well as on the files right so yeah so that is all for this video um, and uh, I will see you in the next lecture thank you and bye bye